Hello everyone and welcome to our early look of Ballarat Cup Day. Going to be an absolute blockbuster of a day. Just before the video starts, remember, my full Ballarat Cup Day tips will be um, on my Twitter account. Link in the description, go check that out. And on Friday night around 6.30 to 7 o'clock, I'll do a live stream of uh, all the, previewing all the races. This is what I did last week for Cranman Cup Day and some of you missed it live. So if you want to check that out, um, it'll be available for Ballarat Cup Day this week, Friday, 6.30 maybe seven o'clock so stay tuned for that how the track will play i reckon race four five maybe onwards the fence will start to chop out um and i think they've got a 30k an hour win down their head in the shoot so probably look for midfield to back markers in races especially the shoot races race five is a benchmark 78 over the 1600 meters and this is a last start replay of maximus prime this was on oaks day um, in the Melbourne Cup Country Series final behind Toro Jean. It had to bullock its way into the clear with a big weight and just couldn't sprint off that. It's got the big weight again on Saturday, which I think is the only thing that can stop it. But it's got the big weight because it, um, it brings the best form into the race. Um, gate 14, by that stage of the day, pro will probably be in the right part of the track. Um, I think it won well enough first up to be winning here, so... I reckon Maximus Prime is a pretty good chance and over the odds. Race 6 is a benchmark 84 over the 2,000 metres and another replay from Oaks Day. This was a benchmark 90 event over the 1,800 metres. I've highlighted two horses here, Right You Are and Shibley. I'm with these two horses at the moment, but I'm leaning more towards Shibley at the price. Um, this was second up in Shibley's preparation, led on this occasion, got run down late. First up was Luckless over the 1400 at Caulfield, um, so it was probably underdone heading into this run. I reckon third up, 2000 metres, Chris Waller train Galloper will be on speed in the right part of the track drawn gate 9. I reckon it's over the odds of $12 and I reckon is worth something. Race 8 is the feature, the Ballarat Cup over the 2000 metres and if this horse comes down to Melbourne to run, it'll be, I just think it'll be winning, a tissue. This was its last start win in the Matriarch Stakes. It was a very good win off the week, back up off the Empire Rose into this race and did a very good job to win. Draws Gate 6, has D Oliver, will be midfield or forward, will be in the right spot to win and will win, I think, if it comes to Melbourne. It's also accepted for the gong up in Sydney, so I have no idea where they'll go. But one thing's for sure, if they go to the Ballarat Cup, it'll definitely be running in the top three. So a tissue at the moment is probably my best of the day, but obviously there's that, that, that query of whether it might go up to the gong. Race 10 is a benchmark 84 over the 1400 and this was a replay from uh, Melbourne Cup Day. This was a benchmark 90 over the 1400 and this horse highlighted here won with an explosive turn of foot. His name is Detonated Jack. Now he won this with the 54 kilos, has to rise up to the 60 and a half, which is the main concern. But the way he won, I didn't expect him to win here. I thought three-year-old heading into four-year-old campaign first up on in a hard race, probably not. But the way that he just exploded and... I didn't think he could do it, so um, I think he's got a lot of potential, this guy. I've competed in the Russian cam a lot a few times, trained by Kirimo and David Eustace from Gate 5 will be in a good spot. Obviously, as I've already said, the weight's the main qu query, but will definitely be running well. So let's take a look at a recap of my Ballarat Cup Day early look with Race 5. We've got Maximus Prime. Race 6, Shibley, both of those horses at a bit of value. Then in the Ballarat Cup, hopefully a tissue. And race 10, Detonated Jack. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next week.